So it is the beginning of year 2021, and it's a year that I hear over and over the people saying, I'm gonna do things differently this year. I guess that's not really that different than what it typically is in New Year's, but I think we have an elevated level of a desire to do things differently because 2020 was such a crazy year, and a lot of people are hating on it, and I can, you know, I can kind of relate. I've joined in the hating, but the reality is the 2020 made us what we are today. And so here I am on the first Saturday of 2021. I came in on Saturday to record this podcast. So I wanted to do something a little differently. And so I'm walking through our agency, our studio right now, the building that houses the business that I don't own anymore. And it's the business that if you, you're not watching, it's I'm walking through the reconditioning center that I built and that was acquired a number of years ago. And it's really got me in this introspective mode, thinking through memory lane. It takes so much to get us where we are. It takes so many things and so many hard things to get us where we are today. And in 2021, it's not going to be any different. It took 2020 to get us to where we are now in 2021. So the question is now, what are you going to do differently? And not differently in the sense where, you know, the gym is going to be really crowded. Even in COVID, there's going to be a lot of people at the gym trying to work out that never were there before. Why? Because it's the beginning of 2021, new year, everyone's got resolutions, but everybody knows that in a few months, that's going to go away. Or maybe not a few months, maybe a few weeks. So it's not like, what are you doing now? It's executing now, executing in February and March and April and May and June is really gonna be what makes the difference and what makes the differentiator between the people that just say they wanna do things different and the people that do things different. I just realized the Christmas tree is still plugged in. Christmas is over, bro. All right, we'll do that because it's no longer Christmas. It's 2021. So as we start this year, new year of the podcast, we start a new year of business, a new year of life. There are gonna be a lot of things that happen to us that we can't predict. And I think that we've all kind of reached the point where we understand that you know, predicting what's going to happen in the future is really a fool's errand because if 2020 taught us anything is that we can't predict anything. Instead of that, we're gonna start the podcast this way. And so I gotta get this mic on here. Welcome to episode 151 of the Clarity Compressed Podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. It is a new year. We're making our way through the fog of life, and clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. It's a new year, people. It's a new year. It is 2021. It is the very first week of 2021. The world is our oyster. No, it's not really because we have a lot of stuff coming up. There's a Senate runoff and there's election things and there's economic things and there's vaccine things and there's pandemic things and business things and economy things. There's all kinds of stuff. But guess what? That doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything. I know that's hard to believe because you think it does change everything. Everything has to do with this and that hinges on this and that hinges on this. But here's the game. If you're a family, business, whatever, you have to play by the same rules that everyone else does. So to think that uh, a political party or to think that an economic economy, an up economy, a down economy is going to somehow uh, hit you differently than it hits someone else in a way that like you still can't execute, you still can't get ahead, that's, that's just something that you choose to believe because the, the, the theory, not the theory, the truth behind entrepreneurism, um, the, the truth behind uh, someone who pays attention, the truth behind someone who leans in to say, this is what life is throwing at me. I can only control how I respond to it. That's the only perspective that wins in the long run. You know, Simon Sinek has this principle called the infinite game. And he said, you know, a finite game has winners and losers. It has a time, uh, a time constraint. It has rules that everyone has to play by. But life and business is not a finite game. It's an infinite game where the players come and go and rules change often. And you can decide to play the game a different way and make up your own rules. And so that is where we are right now at the beginning of 2021. 
We're in the infinite game, not the finite game. And so just to start us out this year, I am going to say, may this, or let this be a year that you fight for perspective of that one thing, is that this is an infinite game that we're playing, and that getting disappointed because rules change is natural and it's human, but guess what? That's just life. That's just what's going to happen. And if we can decide to adopt that early on and say players are going to come and go, that uh, strategies are going to come and go, economies are going to come and go, politicians are going to come and go, the only thing that is really left at the end of all of that, the only thing that truly lasts is how you treat other people, is how you treat one another, is what you decide to do with the game that you have at any given moment. And so in 2021, I want to, in 2021, I don't want to tell you what to do, right? It's easy to just like, oh, you should do this. You should do that. But in 2021, it is my hope that we can walk through this next year, endeavoring to care about others, endeavoring to invest our time, energy, money, strategy, trajectory in other people, not in a fluffy way. I go tell everyone, someone they look nice today and do one nice thing. Not that way. In a way they say, how, in a, in a way that says, how can I invest in these other people? How can we build something meaningful together? I hope that 2021 is a year of perspective for us, that we can look back in tw- at the end of 2021, just like we're looking back, we just looked back at the end of 2020 and said, I had no idea what was going to happen that whole year. You don't have any idea what's going to happen in 2021. We're all hoping that it's a better year. We're hoping that it's a, an easier year and there's there's less fear and we hope that there's less um, trial and less uncertainty. We all hope that together. But let's endeavor right now to lean into one another. Let's endeavor right now to do things that are meaningful going in and we can have that perspective that we are playing the infinite game. So I hope that you do so I hope that you do something different this year than you did last year. I hope that that entails you leaning in, that entails you leaning into others and how can you serve others and leaning into that mentality that the rules are going to constantly change. Saying we're not playing for the right now, we're not playing for the end of the game because there won't be an end of the game. The real end of the game is when we take our last breath. Maybe that's what we're playing for. What is the legacy? What do we leave behind that we can't take with us? It's a new year. Do things differently. Adopt the principle that there's not a time frame that we can play. Like, oh, I know the game is over when I get to this point. Let's just adopt the idea that we're playing the infinite game. And let's play it in a way that we can really be proud of. Play it in a way that would leave a legacy of others knowing that we cared about them and that we were generous and open-handed and open-hearted. And I think if more of us can adopt that in our country, I think we'll be way better off at the end of 2021. So I feel very fortunate that I get to spend this time with you. I hope you feel the same way. I feel that any little bit of encouragement or energy or motivation or insight that you get, I hope that you will just share it, pay it forward by serving those around you. I can't wait to see you next week. I have a big announcement to make next week, um, but I can't wait to see you anyway. And it'll be the second week of 2021. So we'll all kind of have our feet under us, uh, got over the shock of the credit card bill from Christmas, and uh, we'll be rolling forward on our plans for this year. So until next week, I hope you have an awesome first week of 2021.